Hello, this is Lori with LM's Crafty Creations. I am here to share with you a mini album that I created as well as um, Kathy with Paper Phenomenon's Photo Mat and Insert number 10. It's from her second series of photo mats and inserts, which are wonderful, and uh, I plan on making a lot more. I wanted to use up all of the paper in this collection that I had. This collection is from Walmart. It's called Homespun. And there it is right there. There's the top. Homespun. It's so cute. It's got, it's kind of vintage looking. It's got wood stuff and little measuring tape and lots of roses and flowers and it's very pretty. So I'll show the album with for you first. And here's the album. On the front cover I did a chipboard bird here. Um, I had this is a Bigs die, and this is the Tim Holtz flower, Tattered Flower Bigs die. And I just cut out the chipboard and the pattern paper and just layered on them on top of each other with a brad. This is a Sizzlitz die, little scrolls. And I put this envelope on here, and it's got this insert. And the envelope came from Genevieve Designs printable templates. And I started out using her Stack the Pages uh, templates for this whole album. And because I don't like the Stack the Pages binding system, I wanted to use a hidden hinge. I ended up kind of doing my own thing. So there's the spine, like the wood type paper. And there is the back. And let me see how much this measures for you. It's about five by six and a half and here's the inside I left the cover blank all the pages are the same there are six pages and I use I didn't have any embellishments for this collection or even any of the pocket cards or anything so um, it was just paper so I used my scallop punch here made little flowers and this is the same on each page and it opens up here there's a magnet closure here and then it opens up that way. And then this flap opens up again. A large space for photos. Maybe I need to zoom out a little bit. Still can't get the whole thing, but you get it. And then on the inside I did use my tattered flower die again and just layered the paper. And then in every pocket there are these little photo booklets that I made and I matted them all with paper that matched the pages. And it closes like that. There we go. Each page has a tab. Where is it? There it is. And I just used uh, my Fiskars tab punch there and punched those. Oops. And they go right back in there. And here's one of my a flower I made, and, and the flower is actually made from a, a different collection, but I thought it went well here because it kind of had some of these colors in it. So on this paint, this is a magnetic flap. It opens up like that. And then on every page, there is a pocket with a large tag. And actually, th these tags, no, they're a different size than the, the divider tabs. I thought they were the same, but they're different. And I filled this thing so full. Here is this page. The roses, so pretty. Opens up like that. And then here's this booklet. Love the lace and the roses. That page. I did ink around all my edges with um, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo, and that's blank on the other side. I have enough paper left, I'm going to put patterned paper on the other side of those. Another one of my scallop punches, I thought that turned out really cute, and I just used little um, brads in the middle of those. The music note paper, another flower, and here is butterfly paper with the brown on the inside 
butterflies on the outside again. And then here is this tag to the back. I did mat all of the divider tags on both sides. There's the roses, just a collage of different circles, rose paper. And I tried to coordinate the pages on each side. So we can get that whole tag in there. It's pretty large. It's the same size as this, obviously. There's this one. It opens up. I didn't have any more of this paper, but I wanted to keep this all the same, so I just did the strip down there at the bottom. And then there's that tag. The pretty roses. had a lot of yellow roses and little birds in it. I love that. In hindsight, it would have been easier if I would have put this pocket up here, but you know, it's turned out all right anyway. Another flower. There's this booklet. Lots of room for photos in this one. There's that tag. Same on both sides. And here are the last pages. My favorite is this ruler paper. It's so cute. There's that photo mat. There we go. Opens up this way. And numbers. Oh, why I can't get this in here today? Because they've been going into the pockets just fine without a problem. And here's the last page. It's got pretty roses on it. There's that tag. Of course, when I get on camera, they all decide to not go in the pockets. Why does that happen? And there's the back cover. So that is it for my mini album. Oh, on the cover, I did also do, I tried to give it, can you see? I use my own Lincoln Stella pen, but I don't think you can really tell on camera around here because I thought the edges needed a little glitter because what's life without glitter? So that's that one. And now I'll show you the photo mat insert number 10 using um, the paper phenomenon tutorial. It's similar to the other one. I try to kind of stick to the same theme. I have my chipboard bird here and then the scalloped circles here. I did another envelope with lots of tags inside of it. And here I used my um, Stampin' Up! tag topper punch that I just got to create these little like journaling spots. There's the back of them. They have like lines on them. That was cool. These are just photo mats. Oh look, it's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. <laughs> I forgot to mat the back of that one. There's this one. And then a little journaling spot here on both sides. These will hold almost four by six photos and the rest of everything will hold close to. This one's a smaller tag. Now my daughter had gotten into this earlier today so no telling where everything is not where it's supposed to be. Little journaling spot here, up there. There's another four by six with journaling lines. And I made one of these large tags to fit down here. And here are, oh, no, I got another one. There's that tag. And, and then there's these two photo mats that are the same. 
And so that's what it looks like without all the mats inside of it. And then you have the larger mats in here. So here's this booklet. And it's just plain on the inside, ready for photos. And then there's, of course, one on the top. And it opens up. I used a, I think that's a Martha Stewart. No, it's a Fiskars punch right there. Here we go. The whole thing. And then it's plain on the other side. Then there's another one on this way. And I believe that this punch is apron lace. It's another Fiskars punch. It's one of my favorites. And then there is another one. I love this thing. It holds a million things. Lots of room for photos. And my scallops get caught. And here's the yellow roses again. And these will hold four by six photos with a mat around it. And that's it. There is my photo mat and insert tin and my mini album made with Walmart brand, whoops, sorry about that, bumped the camera, um, Homespun Collection. So, thanks for watching.